All right, guys, so our kids' room and our theater room is finally done! Yay! Yay! It's done, it's done, it's done. So we did uh, collaborate with Norca Living for this video. They sponsored all of our furniture. So we're actually gonna be doing a giveaway with them. So stay posted um, throughout this video and I will give you guys instructions on how to enter and you guys are gonna be winning one of their oh. bean bags. I know, it's so exciting, They're isn't real it? Nice. So this is what the space looked like before and after months of hard work, we ended up with the most coziest playroom and theater room for us to just kind of relax and end our day and enjoy a movie with the family. Zayden, what room are we working on today? Kids room. Kids room, are you excited? How excited are you? Just big. Dish <laughs> so we moved in about a few weeks ago and we haven't really done anything in this room. This is level four out of five in our house and it's kind of our indoor outdoor kind of space. Basically the second entrance to the backyard. The kids and I are usually like in and out from the jacuzzi into this area. So we have to kind of keep that in mind. So everything beyond this fireplace is gonna be the kids playroom, all of this. And then everything on this side of the fireplace is basically gonna be our theater room. So this fireplace is actually gonna be going in our master bedroom eventually. And also installed the projector over here. We've had this projector for quite a while now and now we finally have a wall to project on. <laughs> So to jump right into this makeover, we had to tackle all of this painting. This room is such a giant space and there's so many details and nooks and crannies that needed to be painted. Honestly, just prepping and taping up the space took us almost half of a day to do. So we just kind of tackled all of the prep work first. Uh, just to make sure that we would be protecting um, all of the windows and our floors and of course the kids wanted to help and obviously none of this would have gotten done without all of their contributions so we let them kind of jump in and help us out and Ken removed all of the coverings on the switches and I prepped the walls by wiping them clean uh, with a damp rag just to make sure all of the dust was off so the paint would adhere and Ken basically jumped right into it and this guy is like a painting machine. I don't know how he flies through painting so quickly, uh, but he makes it look so easy. Uh, if I were to do this, it would have taken twice as long, but he just kind of tackled the painting in this space. And we ended up going with a white that had like a silver undertone because we really wanted to cool the space down. And I ended up tackling all of the detail work in the painting process. So I did all of the edging because Ken just doesn't like doing any of the detailing, which was more than okay with me because I find doing all of the detail work quite relaxing. Um, so it worked out really well. I'd rather do this than all of that painting anyway. <laughs> what are the monkeys doing over here? We want to paint too. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, it was really nice having the kids keep me company during this painting process. We did end up using a water-based paint so it didn't have uh, much of an odor. So I was okay with the kids kind of hanging out. They were actually quite entertaining um, <laughs> while we were painting. They helped the day pass a little bit quicker. There were moments where I felt like all of this detailing and edging just wasn't ending. I kept finding new corners to do. And Aliana actually wanted to help out, so I gave her this wall to kind of express herself on. Um, and then I ended up covering it up later on. Honestly, like just prepping for paint takes so much longer than actually painting. So today, all we really did was prep. Um, so we got all of the like floor lined up and then I did all of the edging around the whole place. But there's so many like small details in this space that the edging actually took forever like I even had to like crawl in there I had to take out the refrigerator and the wine cellar out so I know this is on time lapse but honestly this is how quickly it felt like Ken did it in real time every time I would come down into the basement he had another wall done I have no idea how he flew through this painting so quickly but this painting was no easy task all of these walls needed two coats of paint and there were a couple of walls that actually needed three coats of paint. So he was definitely a champ and he knocked this out within two or three days. Ken made a lot of progress. So nice and bright in here. Um, so now the problem is that all of our doors and all of the trim looks like poo. 
it literally like even like the window coverings everything just looks yellow now so now we have to paint that which we were not anticipating i'm not sure what i want to do with this wall i wanted to do some kind of like chalkboard paint and do some kind of like accent wall but now ken is talking about converting the bar into a mini kitchen the project is getting a little bit out of hand as usual i kind of want to do like a demolition like i want to demo it myself but i am I feel like I just need to get past the fear of like doing these things because we have so many projects in the house. Like we can't be calling somebody in to do every little thing. Like we need to just kind of take the leap and try ourselves. So I ended up going with the black chalkboard paint option for this wall and it was so scary putting this black paint on the wall guys but I just told myself that this was exactly what the kids needed to just kind of express themselves and have fun in their own playroom and I really wanted them to have that so as usual I started with all of the edging all the way around the wall the kids want to help so i'm gonna let them both do like one square each the kids were so eager to just jump in and help me they honestly wouldn't leave me alone so i gave them these little squares to get it out of their system so it bought me a little bit time um, away from them and i was able to tackle this wall and this wall ended up being such a pain in the butt guys it was supposed to be only two coats but it ended up being three coats which took us two full days to tackle uh, because you obviously have to wait for it to dry for a certain amount of time before you can put the other coats so it ended up being quite the project but it was well worth it because i was really happy with how it looked so it is a three days later now and we have a one two three four five six doors to paint down here and we have one two windows to paint and then we also have to do the trim all the way around um the entire basement i'm glad you found me okay. yeah i was looking for you where were you my whole life yeah, come. and we've decided that we're actually gonna gut this entire uh bar area but we're gonna do it when we do our fifth floor basement which is like our actual basement um down in here it's only like partially finished the space but that project is for a whole nother day so we're not going to include this bar as a part of the makeover video for uh, this fourth floor because it's actually going to be like sort of an extension for our fifth floor basement i brought up a couple of the kids toys just to kind of start eyeballing where things are going to go and I had ordered a kitty table, like a small kitty table, and I was gonna put like a play mat here with the kitty table, but my kids are way too tall for kitty tables. My five-year-old wears like eight-year-old clothing, and then my three-year-old wears five-year-old clothing. So even though the, the table was for three to five, I had to get a full-on desk, like a grown person desk for them. So I couldn't tackle these doors fast enough, guys. They were the bane of my existence in this room makeover. They were just sticking out like a sore thumb and they looked so dirty and brown compared to the fresh coat of paint. Um, and obviously none of this would have progressed without Zayden's help and without me whining on Ken, trying to keep him focused, getting things done. And I ended up tackling the doors because Ken did do the grunt of the work with the walls and he really despises doing all of these details, which I actually enjoy doing. So I had my cute little helper sitting by my side getting me through the painting process while Ken tackled most of the trim. Actually, he handled all of the trim while I tackled all of the doors. And it was a nice little system. We kind of flew through it pretty quickly. You're in my bubble. You're all up in my space, all up in my bubble. I forgot to tell you something. What did you forget? Can we then go to our friend's driveway if they come outside? Only if Auntie Amber comes with you guys. Okay. So we got our first coat on um, all of the doors, and now we're Ken's doing the second coat on all of the trim. And we made pretty good progress today. We should be stopping for like a lunch break or a dinner break. I think we skipped lunch today. We have smoothies for lunch. So today I basically have to do a second coat on all of the doors, front and back, and then on the windows and the shutters Why right there. Help? Huh? You're gonna help? Why are you walking around the house uh, with a potato? Uh, that's because you want it. Guys, painting is actually super relaxing. I thought I would like get annoyed. Like I was actually dreading all of this painting, but now that we're like painting almost every other day, it's actually quite relaxing. So all of the shutters, the doors, everything is officially 100% 
painted. Look how beautiful my door looks, guys. So good. Did you help me paint? I want more tube or No. So as soon as the paint dried on the walls, Ken added his screen for the projector on the wall and it looked so good. Well, 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 look at what we have here. So all of the furniture came in today and it's all from Norca Living and we got, hi mama, we got like 10 pieces from them. So Ken is starting to uh, put them together. They're basically like, uh, it's a big beanbag sectional that we got. Where's your other shoe? Tell me, where's your other shoe? You silly goose. You're silly. <gasps> so as soon as you pop the plastic open, the entire bean bag just inflates into this big glorious cushion. And trust me, it is as cozy as it looks. So this is the cover that comes with it. And it's kind of like a denim material. And what I love about it is I can just like zip it and unzip it at any time the kids like spill anything on it. The bean bags were really easy to put together. You just put the bean bag inside the cover and you reinforce it with the Velcro and then you add the backing into the second pocket. And once that's in, you basically just zip it into place. And Ken did this all by himself. So it's actually quite easy to do. Woo! That's the first piece. <sighs> So while I was upstairs making dinner, Ken put together the entire beanbag sectional by himself. It took him about 15, 20 minutes to do. So these two cubes, they're gonna be going in the kids' playroom. And I decided to go with this like kind of grungy finish because I just feel like as it gets wear and tear, which it will in the kids' room, it'll look like it's supposed to be there. And these are the bean bags that we're gonna be doing the giveaway for in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the end to see the instructions to win one of these. It's I good. Like shapes into you. <laughs> oh, you guys are chilling. You're living your best life. Can mommy come? <laughs> no. So you can use these as individual bean bags, or you can clip it together to create one big giant sectional, which is what we ended up doing. And it just prevents the bean bags from slipping and moving around. And I'm telling you, once we put this together, we literally got nothing else done for the rest of the day. We just lounged on these cushions the rest of the evening. It was so good to test these out for the first time. I need you guys to do a job for me. Can you do a job? Can you go downstairs and get the teddy bears? Yeah. Okay, thank you, mama. <laughs> Need help? Uh -huh. Ready? Oh. Let's go. Okay. Whoa! What was that, Zayden? So Ken thought it would be fun to have the kids help him put the toys away so that they know where everything goes. And quite frankly, I was so overwhelmed putting these away. I'm really glad that they tackled this. Oh, the two kids are gonna give him a kissy. Give them a kissy. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't planning on including the side two shelves with the black baskets, but the kids have so many toys that we needed the extra storage. So we ended up including that um, in the setup. And we actually repurposed a lot of our things from our old master bedroom, like this painting. Um, and then we also included a lot of new pieces in the space. So it was a, basically a nice mixture of like old and new and it gave us like the perfect kind of finish uh, that we were after we really wanted to create a very cozy loungy space with lots of texture and blankets and throws and pillows because we just wanted it to be a very cozy cozy space and i saw this uh, throw ladder on pinterest and i really wanted to recreate it so i ended up using the ladder from the kids old bunk bed and it worked out so well. I was really happy with the way that the ladder ended up looking. It was exactly what I was going for. And we ended up adding a few finishing touches to the chalkboard paint. Um, I wanted to create some kind of positive messages um, and something creative here for the kids um, for their first few days of using it. I honestly haven't done these bubble letters since I was a teenager, but it somewhat came back to me. I basically just freehanded this, uh, but I thought it looked really cute. And we ended up adding a few frames and I ended up drawing a couple. I don't know what I was doing. Honestly, I was just kind of going with the flow and letting whatever happened happen. All I knew is I wanted to have a really whimsical and playful finish to this space um, that sparked their creativity and their imagination a little bit. So once they started doodling, um, they would have a lot of fun on this wall. 
So the next day we started adding some final touches and I wanted to add a little bit of color to the space. So we decided to go with some fresh flowers from our garden and some faux plants to add a little bit of greenery to the space. And it gave it that final touch that we were after. It's a big enormous jump. Show me your big enormous jump. Go. Whoa. Whoa. You cooking? You cooking to mama? <laughs> wow. And this is the final look for the kids' playroom. I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. I wanted to keep it nice and neutral and I didn't wanna fill it with too many colors because I know the kids are gonna be making quite a mess down here. So by keeping the palette nice and clean cut, it'll help it look a little bit more organized um, than it would if I had a lot of bright, bright colors happening in here. I just love how the touch of green uh, brought everything together. Okay, Ken's been dying to do this for you guys for the past month, so go for it, babe. Okay, Google. It's movie time. Okay, your wish is my command. Enjoy Eskimo's theater. I love how bright and clean the space looks and how well it ties into the kids' playroom with the green accents and the neutral backdrops. The bean bags and all of the fur throws and cushions really gave it that loungy feel that I was after. I didn't want this to feel like prim and perfect. I wanted it to be a big cozy lounge and it looks super trendy. So it worked out really, really well. All right guys, so our room makeover is finally done, thank God. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna be doing a lot more of these, so stay posted. This is one of many rooms that need to get a full facelift in this house. So as promised, there is a giveaway in this video. Um, so we're gonna be giving away one of these black bean bags uh, from Norca Living. So just make sure you guys head to my latest Instagram post for all of the instructions on how to participate in the giveaway. And a huge shout out to Norca Living for hooking us up with these bean bags. They're literally the everything, they're so amazing. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave us some love in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys on the next one.